first of all, uh, I'd like to start of hands of who is familiar with Discus. Awesome. Okay, so I don't have to go into this too much then, but Discus is a leading voice and advocate for the U.S. distilled spirits industry. Uh, so we're a national trade association representing producers, both large and small. Uh, so think of us as your core advocacy team. Uh, we consist of director members and also craft members, uh, and we also have a new partner member program that I can inform some of you uh, afterwards. Um, but when we talk, lawmakers listen. So we work extremely closely with our members to advocate on major legislative successes. So think uh, defeating taxes. We had the first uh, federal excise tax reduction since the Civil War. Um, we also recently were able to support responsibility initiatives like the Ride and Halt Acts, which were just included in the recent infrastructure package. So that's a huge win uh, for the responsibility of the industry. But I think it's important to take a step back and look at what is the current state of the industry. I know Brian Dane just had their uh, points about it, but um, as we all know, the pandemic had a true uneven impact on the industry. Um, bars, restaurants, and distilleries all had to change their business models overnight. Uh, but in that decline, of the on-premise, that gave consumers over 20 billion, that's billion with a B, uh, dollars to spend on the off-premise. So whether it was stocking home bars with premium products, uh, leaning on e-commerce, um, and also the growth of RTDs. Uh, we just saw the industry changing pretty much overnight. So where does Discus come in? We are here to help modernize the market. Uh, in the last year alone, we've seen more than 2,200 alcohol bills filed across the country. So uh, needless to say, our poor state team has been very busy uh, combing through all those pieces of legislation. But uh, in the last year, I mean, the, these forms of marketplace modernization, you would see a decade of modernizations pretty much compiled within the last year alone. We're pointing at the X. Okay. Uh, one of those modern modernizations uh, was cocktails to go. I know we touched on this a little bit, but uh, states, uh, 36 states in DC have allowed cocktails to go in response to COVID-19. Uh, and then you can see on the map here, states that ex allowed or expanded cocktails to go in response to COVID, but also that have passed permanent laws. Uh, and that's 16 states plus DC. And currently cocktails to go is not allowed in 14 states. Unfortunately, New York, where we are, is one of them with the recent overturn of legislation. But the impact of COVID-19 on craft distillers. So like I said, uh, distilling tasting rooms closed and tourism completely stopped. And many craft distillers lost access to their consumers overnight. Uh, we had a discus survey with ADI and found that uh, distillers lost 40% of their sales, which is absolutely staggering. Uh, and then as all this was going on, governors looked for ways uh, to support the industry. And also at the same time, that drove intensified calls for DTC that Brian was talking about. Uh, so currently seven states uh, temporarily allowed uh, direct to consumer uh, shipping in response to COVID-19. Um, so you can see some of those temporary measures. And currently nine states plus DC allow the direct shipment of spirits, but you can see all things are not created equal. So 46 states plus DC allow direct shipping of wine. So many distillers, as we know, have found that DTC can accelerate sales to new consumers. And there is currently a high consumer level interest of shipment of spirits. And wine has done it for years. Uh, you know, they've been able to coexist within the three-tier system, and we see DTC as an onboard for the three-tier system in terms of shipping of spirits, and we'll only complement it. Um, and of course, with that, compliance is absolutely paramount. So safeguards must be in place in order to restrict minors uh, from illegally accessing alcohol, uh, from to make sure that all taxes, Uncle Sam's got to get his cut, 
uh, but also ensure payment and compliance with all federal laws. Uh, and like I said, consumer or different distillers are doing this and doing this successfully. Uh, you can see right here one of our Discus members, Blinking Al, uh, with their box clearly marked. Uh, and so responsibility, of course, is going to be at the core of everything we do. And if there's anything that COVID has taught us, it's consumers want more convenience, not less. Everything uh, during COVID was at our fingers with the touch of a button. So Discus commissioned an IWSR study uh, to measure just that consumer sentiment when it comes to direct to consumer shipping of spirits. And what we found that is that at least 76% of the consumers surveyed would consider purchasing spirits online shipped directly from distillers. So guess what? The market's there. Uh, we also found that 53% of consumers surveyed had visited a winery, brewery, or distillery and made a purchase while visiting. Uh, we've heard time and time again from our craft members of how sales just stopped. As soon as you're telling that customer no, that's it. Um, Whereas if DTC, like I said, could be an onboard. Uh, so if, I'm, if I visited a distillery in Florida and I went back to Pennsylvania or uh, another state and I'm asking for that spirit to be carried, it will only help uh, all rising tides raise all boats. So it will only help complement the three-tier system. And some of the benefits, um, it creates customer choice and industry parity. You saw um, it, it was a really blue map for wine, but a pretty light for distilled spirits. It'll help brands grow and reach their customer base, especially in this post-COVID world, um, as many lost so many of their sales. Uh, and also, uh, consumers ask, retailers will carry. Uh, and wholesalers will start picking up on some of these hot new emerging brands. So there's so much opportunity here. And like I said, consumers are the ones leading this charge. So what can you all do? Um, as opposed to, you're already, I'm sure a lot of you, I'm looking around, I'm seeing even some Discus members in the crowd, but uh, many of you may not be familiar with our grassroots advocacy tool called Spirits United. So it's an online community of grassroots advocates uh, and it's pretty click and go. So if you go to spiritsunited.org, you can sign up for an advocate as an advocate. We welcome everyone from consumers to bartenders to executives alike to become uh, a Spirits United advocate. And it allows you to plug in your name, email, and address, and it will auto-populate uh, letters on different issues to your members of Congress or your local representatives. Um, and one significant example, so uh, Brian, you're talking about how you stepped up for, to make hand sanitizer to answer the national needs. So you know the uh, awful uh, New Year's surprise that came on uh, New Year's Eve 2020 when HHS announced that there was going to be a facility fee on craft distillers uh, who made hand sanitizer. So um, I think my <laughs> poor, again, policy team, uh, they had a nice earned Frank 75 at the end of that night because uh, they quick compiled a Spirits United campaign and within five days, more than 6,000 Spirits United advocates sent 25,000 letters uh, to advocate for this initiative. So Discus really came in strong, plus we are firing on all cylinders with media and social media opportunities and guess what? HHS removed the distiller facility fee. So that was a huge win for the industry, but also for the distillers who not only took a hit on their businesses this year, but also stepped up to meet a national need. So we have the results here of um, different campaigns, but I really welcome you all to whip out your phones right now. Go to spiritsunited.org and sign up as advocates because together we can really make a difference uh, on some of these key issues like DTC. Uh, like some tariff issues or the USPS uh, Postal Act. So there are many issues right now, um, or cocktails to go. I'm seeing Colleen, this has been her life for the past year. So uh, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. But uh, I really encourage you all to join the discus fight to help advocate for our industry.